Hello students, myself Dr. B. Sridhar, Professor, Department of ECE, Emergence of Technology, Hyderabad. Now, we are going to discuss about the lensing scheme for coupling improvement. First of all, why lensing scheme required? Here, we know that in optical fiber communication system, the light signal is travel into the optical fiber. Now, this light signal is traveled in the optical fiber system, then can be transmitted from one to another end. So, this structure we know that very well. Fine. But, if you want to couple the light signal with the optical fiber, the amount of loss can be more. So, to avoid this, the loss, so we can go for the lensing scheme. When the emitting area of the source is smaller than the core area of the fiber, so we have a poor coupling efficiency. It means that the more amount of power may be lost. Okay, next one. So to improve this coupling efficiency, what we have to do? We have to keep some lens in between the source and the fiber. Okay, so to capture the signal. So, what it means? It can be magnifies the signal and can be given to the fiber core. So, what happened? So, power coupling efficiency may be increased and uh, we have the, the loss may be decreased. So, that is why we can go for lensing scheme. Fine. So, now as I said earlier, so if the amount of energy if fully excited, if you see the light signal is fully occupied in the core region. Okay, so now here we can get the very good amount of the numerical aperture. Now, but here if you see the propagating mode in the steady state. Okay, so the amount of uh, numerical aperture is reduced and partially filled in the fiber core. So, it means, it means, see it is a, all modes are equally excited, but here only the propagating mode in the steady state. So, limited amount of energy may be entered into the fiber core area. So, to avoid this, okay, so what we can do, for this what we can do, so here we can use some lens to couple the sources, okay, fine. Now, we have different techniques for coupling improvement. The first one is rounded end fiber system. So, here we know that here the coupling will take place between this is a LED and this is a fiber. Generally, you can speak. So, this is a LED and this is a fiber. Okay. So, now what happened? The amount of energy will enter into the this core to this area. But it is not possible. Some energy may be lost out. Suppose, for example, here the light is there. For example, this light is there. Here, this is the fiber is there. Okay, the light will not enter directly to the fiber core. Okay, so it may be deviated in different direction. So what will happen? So only 50 to 70 percentage of light only enter into the fiber core. So the loss may be more. Okay, so what we can do? So we have to couple the active area that is active source in fiber in a proper manner. So, the first one is the rounded end fiber. So, here this is the LED will generate the light signal. So, here we can shape the fiber in the rounded end type. So, what will happen? So, it can capture the more amount of reasonable amount of energy from LED to core. This is nothing but the rounded end fiber. Here we are not using any lens here. Okay. So, just we can reshape the fiber end. Okay. So, in order to receive the more amount of energy into the fiber. Okay. Fine. Now, next, spherical surface LED and spherical ender fiber. So, here, this is a spherical surface LED. Here, we have one kind of lens here we are keeping. So, next one is this is a spherical ender fiber to couple the amount of signal efficiently into 
fiber light signal to the fiber core this is another type of lensing scheme the light can be coupled into the fiber effectively and efficiently and another one next one is taper ended fiber see here this is the width of the active region here here we can uh, cut the fiber so very close to this width so what will happen so more on the amount of energy will pass into the fiber core so you can shape on the fiber in accordance with the source width okay so this is nothing but the taper ended fiber so we have to improve the coupling efficiency the main our main concept is we have to improve the coupling efficiency that is important so how efficiently couple the signal into the fiber so that only we can achieve the communication system okay so the our message signal electrical signal is converted to optical signal that is light signal after that that light signal can be properly coupled into the core that is very important if the amount of energy may be less then the fiber communication system totally disturb okay so that's why the coupling is very important okay to transfer the amount of light to the fiber next one here magnifying lenses we are keeping in between the active region that is the led and the fiber core so here this uh, lens the name for the lens is called the cylindrical lens here you can use some cylindrical lens okay so initially the amount of signal may be falls on the cylindrical lens so after that what will happen it can be magnifies once the light signal can be falls on the lens automatically it will magnifies and it allow the the light signal can be allow into the fiber okay the main concept here why we are keeping the lens in between the source and the fiber is magnifications okay fine next one is imaging sphere this is one of the important concept in the coupling lens scheme okay so here we are using some micro sphere for convenient coupling light or into or out of fiber so what we are using this why we are using this kind of imaging sphere because the focal point of the sphere is very close to its surface hence the result the sphere can be placed in contact with the fiber almost perfect for coupling okay so here is something that's why we call it as imaging sphere here the lens which has some focal point okay so here we are keeping the focal point very close to the surface so what are amount of light falls on the lens okay so automatically so this one automatically it can be enter directly into the fiber cores that's why you can say the focal point of the sphere is very close to the surface fine next one is non imaging sphere there we are discuss about the focal point okay so this non imaging micro spheres so this non imaging micro sphere is also a branch of optics okay so which can be transfer the of light signal between the source and a target the target is nothing but our optical fiber okay so here we are transfer the radiance of energy okay so this technique involve do not attempt form an image of the source earlier one here we can take the image but here is not like that okay so here we can transfer the radiative energy from a source to a target that's even called it's a non imaging microsphere for an imaging microsphere here we can consider only the focal point of the sphere focal point of the sphere so here in that way also here we can achieve the coupling efficiency is more so in this category so we can optimize the optical system for optical radiative transfer from optical sources to a target this is nothing but the 
non imaging microsphere for lens scheme for coupling improvement generally here to couple the light signal with the optical fiber so here we need some lens scheme so for improve the coupling efficiency so then here finally we can measure the output so how much amount of input signal and how much amount of output we are getting from that we can get the we can find out the efficiency of the system so coupling is very important so without coupling of this all the one so we can't able to achieve the optical fiber communication system okay so to couple so here we can go with different techniques so sometimes we can cut the fiber uh, with respect to the led structure or uh, here we can keep some uh, lens to magnify a signal okay thank you